Hey everyone, Tim from Booth Events here. Today I'm super excited to show off our new and improved share station. It's improved because we already had share station. It's new because it has a bunch of new features. My wife hates it when people say new and improved, but I think I've finally found the right time to say it. Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to have two iPads and I'm going to explain why and I'm going to go through everything, but you're going to see two iPads. I'm going to have one in the up and down in the landscape orientation. That's the one where guests are going to be taking their photos. And I have one that's left and right in that landscape orientation. And that's the one that's going to be the share station. So let's go through and launch these iPads. So we've got this event open here. You can see I've got the Booth Events demo gallery. And this is all in the same app. This is in the Booth Events app. You don't need a separate app for share station. We keep it simple. It's all in one place. So I'm going to hit launch on the one where guests are going to take their photos. And you can see here at the top, I've got a new thing. I've got this little slider. It says, what do you want this iPad to do? What should this iPad do? And there's the everything or the customize option. So for this case, I'm going to choose customize. And then you can see the button changes to continue. So I'll hit that. And now it's asking me, okay, well, what should this iPad do then if you want to customize it? And you can see you get three options. You get everything, capture station, and share station. So everything is what you've always used. It means this iPad does everything. It does the capture, it does the preview functionality, and then it does the share station. Or sorry, then it does the sharing. Okay, yeah, great, fair enough. In this case, I'm going to choose capture station. So what capture station does is it only does the capture part. It also helps the guests preview their photos. So it does allow them to reshoot the photo. And that's something that we improved in this version of share station. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the capture station button on this one. Great. And now you can see that it's at that familiar screen where it's ready to take photos. Simple enough. Okay, now let's go over to the other iPad. So you can imagine in the setup, this would be like on the other side of the room or maybe over on the side, uh, out of the way. And part of the reason why you do this, why you have multiple iPads is because you want to speed up the line. Because if you watch people at the photo booth, they spend most of their time entering in their email address and confirming it and all that jazz. So by splitting these into two, you can have two groups going at the same time. The first group is taking their photos while the previous group is over at the share station entering in their email address or whatever. So that's kind of the goal here. So on this iPad, I'm going to hit launch event and I'm on customize already, which is what I want. I'm going to hit continue. And for this iPad, I'm going to choose share station. Now, if I scroll down, I can see there's some settings here too. So we're going to go into those later. First, I'm just going to use the default settings. So I'm going to hit share station. And here I go. Here's the share station. At the top, you can see there's a row with the latest set of photos that was taken. So if I scroll up and down, that just stays there. And that's really handy if your guests who are using the share station just kind of scroll a bit and then walk away and then that latest thing's always on the top. So the next person who walks up can at least interact directly with it. So if I touch, say, on the latest row at the top, my picture of me there, boom, I get straight into the actions for doing something with that photo. The next thing you'll notice is that in this version of ShareStation, we've organized things a lot better. We've grouped them by session, so you can scroll up and down to see more sessions, and then when, needed, when you need to, you can scroll left and right. And these are loading in from the internet, automatically. So as I scroll down through all of my crummy test photos, then those are loading in from the web. And if I scroll left and right in a session, because they have lots of, of entries in the row, then you can see all of the photos on the session. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some photos. So on my photo, on my other iPad, so I'm walking back across the room now and I'm going to my iPad where I take the photos, I'm going to take the three photo template here with these weird strips. All right, let's go. So I'm holding that iPad in the air now. All right, three, two, one. And then for the second photo, we'll do a little peace sign. And then the third one, we'll try to do like a little thumbs up. Okay, great. Now, right now on this iPad, it's giving the guest a chance to reshoot their photos. So if I didn't like that first one where my eyes are really like tall, I'll, I'll just hit reshoot. I'll choose that first one. I'll just shoot that again. Try to be more normal. Okay, great. Let's have a look. Awesome. Okay, I like that. That looks better. 
Now watch what happens when I hit looks good. So this is in capture station mode, remember? When I hit looks good, it goes straight back to the beginning again, because that's it. That's all the capture station does. Now, take a look at the share station. Can you see those images just magically loading in there? So those are basically automatically being pulled as soon as they're available, and they're going to show right up on the share station. I didn't have to do anything, and it was really fast. Okay, and you can see that I can scroll left and right. So far, so good. So there's a couple of controls here we can go over. First of all, you can see how there's these kind of t-shirt sizes in the, in the top left here, or top right, rather. So I can choose extra small or small or medium. And then you also remember there were a bunch of settings that we had. So let's go and dive into those. So for that, I'm just going to exit share station and go back into the menu, back into event, exit event settings, type in my secret code and go back to launch again. Okay. So continue. If I scroll down here, you can see my share station settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change group by session to be off and I'm going to turn show original photos off and I'm going to leave the latest section on. That latest section is that blue part at the top. If I turn that off, it's going to go away. Okay, let's go back to share station. So now you can see I've got a flat scroll or a flat collection. There's no rows anymore. It's just one big scrolling thing. And in this case, the original photos from that session I just made, they're gone now too. So that's kind of what, uh, what, that, what the original photos is doing. It's, high, it's just showing only the collages, only the template of photos. Okay, so we think that this is a huge improvement over our existing share station. And there's a couple of really important notes. First of all, you can have many share stations. So when you launch these devices, you can choose any combination of those things that we saw on that customized screen. Let's go back again. So when you're here and you're launching a device, you can have any number of devices in your event, any mix of iPads and iPhones and Macs, any mix that you want with any mix of roles. So you could have some iPads doing everything in, a, in one location, and then you could have other iPads in a whole new location that are still part of the same event doing capture station and share station split or everything in share station split. There's no limitation to how you mix and match this. So we think that's a huge advantage because that's something unique that our app can do. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about customizing the share station. So if you noticed, the background here was kind of like a gray and the text is white. Now that's a choice that I've made. That's on the gallery settings for what my text and background color look like. So when you edit the event on the dashboard and you choose the gallery text and the gallery background colors, that affects the share station as well. So whatever you configure your online gallery to look like, the share station will try and automatically mimic the same look so that you can kind of keep your stuff there. And then also there's another thing that I want to show you. You can add custom HTML at the top of your share station. So if, for example, you want some like extra disclaimer or extra instructions at the, big, at the top of your share station, it's really easy to do that. So let's take a look at how to do that next. All right, so here I have my web dashboard and I'm gonna, I've got the event open that we've got launched on my share station. And I'm gonna hit edit event. So I can be doing this from anywhere in the world. If my share station is in one country and I'm in another and I'm making these changes, the share station will pick those changes up immediately. That's what our live sync feature is all about. But let's just do a quick demo here. So I'm going to go to branding and then you can see the gallery text color. I'm going to try changing this. I'm going to change it to black and change the gallery background color to white. And then I'm also going to go down or sorry, I'm going to flip over to the branding iPad here and go down to the bottom. And this is where currently you can enter HTML content. So I'm going to paste a bunch of content into that that I want, like so, and hit save. This is some demo HTML content that I put into there. So now you'll notice the share station hasn't changed its appearance yet. It's going to do that the next time it cycles through. So let's choose any image and imagine some guest has done something with it. He, they've emailed it, they've texted it, whatever. They've got the QR code, cool. 
the hit done. Now those changes are loaded in. And this big red block here at the top, that's that sample HTML code that I pasted in. I set the background to be red for it so that you can see that it kind of scrolls down and fits in seamlessly with the, the, the photos below it. And then you can also see that my changes of making the text or the background color for this view be white, that's now taken effect as well. All right, that's it. Pretty cool, right? So that's how you can set up your devices, multiple devices at the same event, and customize them with things like custom HTML or color or whatnot. And also the settings for controlling what things appear on the share station. Okay, there's one more thing that we should have a look at. First of all, let's have a look at what actually happens when I follow through with any of those actions we were seeing earlier. So I've set the share station grouping back on so you can see that my black text has taken effect because I forgot to show that in the last segment. And then I'm going to select an option. And when I hit email, you can see I'm going to get a link to all of these things. So I'm just going to type in my email. Hello at booth.events. Hit send. So this is the confirmation that we have. And if the users made a mistake, they can hit no, go back and change it. Let's just say yes, send it. And then boom. So now an email is being sent from the share station directly. And at the top here, you can see they've got like kind of this preview of all of the things they're going to get. Because even though I only selected one image, the links that we send out are always to the whole session. Okay, so let's also have a look at what it's like to add a printer. Because you can print from your share station as well. So I'm going to go back to the menu here, and you can see this option to add a printer. So it's just like standard, uh, standard normal printing in the app. You just add the printer that you want. Here I've got some simulated printers that are going to print to my computer just for testing. And when I open them, you'll see, when I open the printer, I mean, you can see that all of the templates for this event are selected as yes, they can be printed. And as shown in the other videos, you have the control to say, I, I don't want this template to be printed. Um, but by default, everything will be printed. So now what I should see is when I go back and choose one of these images again, now I have that print button. And if I choose that print button, you'll see it's not, of course, going to try and print everything in that session. It's just going to print the one that I selected. So it's redrawn the top there to show just that image that's going to be printed. Okay, I don't actually want to print, so I'm just going to hit the X and close out. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We hope that you love the new ShareStation feature. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can learn about more of the videos that we release. And also, please join our Facebook community group. The easiest way to do that is to go to Facebook and just search for Booth Events Community, or you can go to our Booth Events page and there's a link from there.